Good afternoon, everybody. So great to see you again and hang out with you in this quick Bible study introduction. Um, today is Single Day Mayo, so happy Single Day Mayo to anybody who may be celebrating. My son and I had shrimp tacos. They were amazing, so I hope you enjoy your time inside safe um, on this Single Day Mayo. Um, for those who don't know, that means May 5th in Spanish. Um, today's Bible study, quick transition. Um, we find ourselves still in the same Bible study living outside of the walls um, in this moment where we're not able to go back into the walls at the moment. But that doesn't mean the ministry stops. That just means we can't come together in the walls. Um, today, we find ourselves in Acts chapter 1, um, verses 6 through 7. Um, this is the subtitle for this section. It's called The Ascension. I'm going to read chap I'm gonna read Acts chapter 1, 6 through 7 um, in the English Standard Version. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, Will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Verse 7, he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the season that the Father has fixed by his authority. Um, I find myself resting here because even after all of what the disciples had just seen, they were still focused on that issue they had. They were still focused on that issue they had prior to the events that took place for the resurrection. As you remember, back in on Palm Sunday when they were riding, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem for the last time on the colt in a lowly state, they quickly asked them, hey man, are you going to overthrow the Romans? Because that's all they cared about. That was their pressing issue in their life. Was he going to overthrow the Romans? They weren't worrying about what he was saying about it being an amazing thing. They weren't worrying about what he was saying about this greater kingdom of his father's coming. They were worrying about the Romans. So here, we can't look down on the disciples because we're a lot like them here. We're still focusing on whatever that thing was, or that thing is, even after all of what we've seen God still do in our and in somebody else's life. Study today is simply to get us to look at not focusing on that thing more than we focus on God. Because guess what? God is amazing. God is still at work. God is still doing great things, even with us not being able to do what our quote-unquote normal lives were. God is still amazing. And it's when we start to focus on God's amazingness and not on everything else, that it becomes that. I love how verse 7 ends on the word authority. Because we always feel as if we have authority over something. And if we don't, we want it. Here, we're reminded we don't have authority over this. Whatever nation, whatever state, whatever locality we find ourselves in does not have authority over this situation. But I know who does have authority over this situation. It's God. When I take my hands off and I stop focusing on it as if I can fix it, but I focus my fixation or my identity or my time on God, what I'm going through doesn't get the best of me, but my time in God does. So I encourage you in the midst of this study to take some time and think about what that thing is that's in the center of your mind that has your thought that you're thinking about every single day that you're almost thinking about more than God. And I encourage you to change your focus from that to who really has authority in this moment. Again, um, this is the Bible study intro. Um, it will be attached to the church's YouTube page, uh, which is found on YouTube. You can search Third Baptist Church Hampton. It should be there. Um, in the worksheet for the Bible study, we found on the church website, Third Baptist Church. Uh, if you don't know, we go to Third Baptist Church um, in Hampton, and it should pop up in your Google search, and it will be there. Um, until then, I wish you all well. I can't wait till we're able to hang out again. Uh, for those of you who are following um, the Bible study, uh, whether it be in Instagram or whether it be on YouTube, I thank you so much. I am going to continue doing these things, following whatever our new normal starts to look like, um, because what we can't do in the church is create an internet presence and then leave it because somebody is following us who is still outside the walls. Until then, my name is Reverend Vernon. Um, I thank you so much for tuning in. Take care. God bless.